The famous American prohibition brought numerous changes and conflicts in the nation's international border. El Paso and Ciudad Juarez, being the most active border cities during the 1920s and early 1930s, showed that they would be representing this major event. Prohibition was supposed to decrease criminal activity, reduce taxes, and solve social problems. When prohibition made the impact, Americans were drinking almost seven gallons of pure alcohol per person annually. It was believed that alcohol damaged people's health and moral behavior and promoted poverty. Employers felt drunkenness reduced safety and productivity. The 18th Amendment really changed the lifestyle of millions of Americans. In the El Paso area, it also changed the economy of our sister city, Juarez. With alcohol being banned in the United States, El Paso, Texas, and Juarez were a match made in heaven. With a drinking age limit of 18 years old, a large supply of alcohol, and tons of bars open late night, Juarez was the place to be every weekend. People would cross from El Paso to Juarez to get a taste of alcohol, which was common up until 1920 in the United States. Here, in Juarez, most Americans would head to Juarez Avenue. This was a Vegas-like strip in Juarez that was home to many bars. There was an average of 20 square feet separating each bar at the avenue. One bar that flourished on the avenue was the world famous Kentucky Bar. It was a staple in Juarez, being created at the height of Prohibition. It was relatively close to the bridge, making it convenient for everyone who crossed over. Even though some people didn't agree with it, they still would go to the bars to enjoy themselves but yet the fathers agreed not to let their daughters go. Juarez has many places to go to for sightseeing and so forth, but the people that came during that time would go to the bars to have fun. As many as 1,000 women a night will go to Juarez. 60% of them appear to be under the age of 35, 40% under the age of 30, 30% under the age of 25, and 15% under the age of 20. The Opasoans and tourists began going to Juarez in the afternoon. The most popular days were Saturday and Sunday. Men will go with their wives or just by themselves sometimes, family as well along with their children. Alcohol and jazz went hand in hand in the 1920s. Many saw them as controversial, and both were popular in bars and speakeasies at the time. The atmosphere that the two created in combination was one that brought joy and relieved stress to many. The easygoing syncopation made a great beat for many to dance to. The ambiance and general feel of the bars was a major pull factor for the El Paso and Juarez area. Trumpeter Frankie Quattrell not only brought featured trumpet player Benny Goodman to light, but played in a local central cafe band led by Severo Gonzalez, essentially bringing the art form to the border. The access to alcohol helped draw in a greatly diverse crowd, leading to even more controversy from those with more conservative views. Not only did organizations such as the Ku Klux Klan see it as a threat, but it was also seen as intolerable by the local women's club. Even other musicians took offense to the style, referring to it as primitive and an insult to music. Juarez became a center of entertainment for El Paso and struggling to have fun during the time of prohibition. The amount of bars easily established a place where many people could find the stress relief or simply have a good time. Many people thought it was sinful to cross the border simply to get drunk and many groups such as the women's club made efforts to stop any association with alcohol. Of course, the nightlife in Juarez wasn't purely defined by alcohol. Gambling was a significant type of entertainment that many people loved. Tourists from all over the United States went to Juarez and poured at least $10,000 a day on gambling alone. Eventually, prohibition in the United States would end and Juarez would fade as the largest center of entertainment. The effects Juarez had on El Paso was significant and although Juarez may not have the same effect as before, Juarez's development will still significantly impact the United States even today.